Welcome to another edition of All Things Cyber with Dr. Dave Martin. On this episode of All Things Cyber, I want to talk about a subject that I just don't think corporations or we as individuals take seriously enough in our everyday life, and that's the issue of ransomware. This is a cyber threat that is as evil as it sounds. Why is ransomware as bad as it sounds? Because as human kidnappers often demand ransom payments for safe return of someone, ransomware is malicious software that once it finds its way into your computer network, it can and will kidnap all of your data and the hackers will not release it unless a ransom is paid. Ransomware can be financially disastrous. Don't believe me? Well, let's look at the cost for the victims of ransomware. Ransomware hits 37% of all businesses worldwide. 54% of all attacks are successful. And let's take a look at the cost. 2021 estimate to the U.S., $20 billion. The average ransom demands for all ransomware attacks is $220,000 dollars or more. The average cost to an individual to business to recover is more than $700,000 and for healthcare it just bumps up to a tremendous 1.8 million dollars per incident to recover. Well, the nasty thing is it's that while 32% pay the ransom, only 65% see their data back. And the real tragedy here is only 57% of all businesses have backup strategies that allow recovery. So how do successful ransomware attacks occur? Well, they start with phishing attacks. You know, clicking on that unwanted address or that fake URL. Then it also, on top of that, you've got vulnerabilities in your business software and operating system weaknesses in corporate servers. Let's look at top targets of ransomware attacks. Retail businesses, education institutions, corporate businesses, and government, local governments are especially hit hard because they're often the least prepared. But there's some really easy strategies that you can protect yourself against ransomware attacks. That's the frustrating thing for me as a cyber expert is that these strategies are easy and they're not that expensive not near as expensive as a ransomware attack. Above all else, first, have a reliable backup strategy. Back your data up locally and online. Do frequent backups. The more valuable your data, the more frequent the backup needs to be. Adopt a zero trust strategy. Trust no one and use two-factor authentication for all your transactions. Give elevated or privileged access to as few people as possible. Number three, keep your antivirus software up to date. And number four, if your data is really valuable, consider using encrypted virtual private networks or VPNs for all of your transactions. Five, you might want to consider investing in cyber insurance that covers ransomware. If your data is that valuable, You've got to have that insurance. Can you really afford to be a victim of ransomware? I think not. A ransomware attack can devastate your business. Valuable data is lost and it often doesn't ever get recovered. And when you are publicly known that you succumb to a ransomware attack, especially if you didn't take those easy steps that I told you about, your business will often take a big hit and lost customer goodwill that it can't afford. Take steps to protect yourself. Don't say, well, it'll never happen to us because it can. And you can especially make yourself a target if you neglect simple things just like backing up data. Well, that's all I've got for you. It's a, an important topic. And I just can't tell you how important important it is to take simple steps to prevent your corporation or you as an individual 
from being a victim of ransomware. 